Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate the steps that you take to protect the information in your Excel worksheet. Protecting an Excel worksheet is a two-step process. Step number one, determine which cells you want to lock, for example the cells that contain formulas, and decide the cells that you want to unlock the cells where the end user will actually be typing in a value. So here in our first example we're going to be working on a travel expense report. We want the end user to be able to put in their expenses in these cells but we want to protect from accidentally typing in a hard value where we want to have a formula. Now let's understand how step one works. Select any cell in an Excel worksheet and go down and right mouse click and say Format Cells. Over on the Protection tab, notice that by default every cell in every worksheet is locked by default. Let me repeat that. The default settings for Excel are that every cell is locked by default. Now step two is when you continue reading. Locking cells or hiding the cells that contain formulas has no effect until you take step two. You must actually go through and apply protection. You do that in Excel 2007 on the Review tab of the ribbon in the Changes group Protect the Sheet. All right, now let's apply step number one. Since we understand that the default setting is that the cells are locked, we must determine which cells we want to unlock. Now I made this selection a little bit easier because I went ahead and I applied light blue shading to the cells that contain formulas. This will make it easier for me to identify the cells that I want to unlock. So let's begin by selecting the cells that we want to unlock. This is going to be making a selection using non-contiguous cells, so after I make my first selection I hold down control as I go through and make the additional selection. These are the cells that I want to unlock, so let's right mouse click, format the cells, and on the protection tab, unlock them. Now and only now are we ready to go through and take step two which is to go to the Review tab on the ribbon in the Changes group, select to protect the sheet. Now I rarely use a password. I find that I forget the password. What, I, what my intention here is to prevent an end user from accidentally hard coding a value where I want to keep a formula. So I'm going to keep the default settings which is to allow all users of this worksheet to number one be able to select the lock cells but they won't be able to edit them. They can select them and select the unlock cell. So let's click OK and let's test this out. Here's a cell that I unlock. Let's try it. Let's use keyboard shortcut control apostrophe to copy the value from above. And let's input some values. $250 for airfare, $100 for lodging, uh, $30, $10, uh, $5 and 50 miles. Now if I go through this cell is locked it contains a formula. If I double click to try to enter it I get the error message. So unlock cells, lock cells, protect the sheet. And of course if I want to unprotect the sheet go back and unprotect it but again determine which cells you want to lock, which cells you want to unlock. Alright let's apply this in a second example. Here again is a form, here again is a worksheet that I'm intending to distribute to end users who have a range of skills with Excel ranging from I have no idea what I'm doing in Excel to moderately advanced. So in an earlier lesson I showed you how to set up spin bars to be able to uh, show the changing loan scenarios, what my monthly payment will be at various interest rates, various repayment periods. In setting up the spin button when we go through and look at formatting the control we see that we have a link cell. So this link cell needs to be updated. So these are the cells that need to be unlocked. The cells that contain the formulas we want to keep locked. Alright now let's go through and make the selection of the cells that we want uh, to actually unlock. So these are the cells. Let's right mouse click 
format the cells and over here on protection I want to unlock those cells now I am going to hide them I don't want the user to actually even see them so I'm going to select those two columns and I'm going to come down here and say hide but remember I haven't taken step two which is to go to the review tab of the ribbon and protect the worksheet I'll leave the defaults, not use the password, click OK, and let's try this out. So you see, this will update, but if I try to go in and edit the formula, that cell is locked. The columns that I hid over here, which contain the values, you see with the protection, I can't even access them. So that's a good way to protect yourself. Now finally, we can actually protect the entire workbook. To do that, go to the Office button, and what we want to do is say Save As. In the Save As, now I'm using Windows Vista, what I want to do is come down here in the Save As dialog box. There's a drop down next to Tools, and then go into General Options, and then I can apply a password to open, password to modify. So that's kind of hidden. Office button or file, Save As, and in the dialog box, look for the Tools drop down general options and then go through and if you wish use that password so there you've learned the two-step process for protecting individual cells remember to go through and select the cells that you want to unlock first and then apply protection and this is typical of the tips that I offer in my DVD series the 50 best tips for Excel Word PowerPoint Outlook and access and I'll see you in the next lesson